gamers, welcome to our guide on squeezing every drop of performance from your NVIDIA GPU in 2025. First things first, always update your drivers. To update NVIDIA graphics card, make sure to have the NVIDIA app. It's a dedicated app to squeeze the best performance from your GPU and lets you adjust and tune the settings for best performance. So head over to this website to download it. Then just simply install it. After installing the app, you can access it from here. Now you need to log in. and hit the Drivers tab to download and install the latest version. Here you can either choose the Game Ready Driver or the Studio Driver, if you're a gamer just go with this Game Ready Driver thing but if you're more focused on working as a graphics designer who's constantly using After Effects, Photoshop or other heavy things, you can go with the Studio Driver. Then just hit Install. I would recommend to go with Express Installation. Hit continue, and it will do its magic, you might get a blackout during the installation, but it's completely fine. The app also has a game section where you can click optimize for any title, this auto adjusts in-game settings to a balanced preset based on your hardware. Think of it as a starting point, you can always tweak further in the game or the control panel later. Now let's jump into the NVIDIA control panel. Right click your desktop and choose it. Under Manage 3D Settings go to Global Settings, Image Scaling to On, and set it to 50%, Ambient Occlusion Off, Anisotropic Filtering to Application Controlled, Anti-Aliasing to Off, Gamma Correction to Off, Anti-Aliasing Mode to Application Controlled, Transparency to Off, Max Frame Rate to Off, CUDA GPUs, to all. Fallback policy to driver default. DSR factors to off. Don't choose any of these. Low latency mode to off. Max frame rate off. And monitor technology to G-Sync compatible if you have it. Multi-frame sampled to off. OpenGL Compatibility to Auto Rendering GPU to the graphics card you have Power Management to prefer maximum performance Refresh Rate to highest available Shader Cache Size should be set to 10 to 5 GB Texture Filtering on Negative LOD Bias to allow Quality to high performance. Trilinear optimization to on. Threaded optimization to on. Triple buffering to off. Vertical sync to off. Pre rendered frames to one. Virtual reality off. And the last one to auto. Now apply the changes. Go to Color Settings, here tune with the settings until you get the best visual output. In my case I'm using these settings, now to G-Sync. Enable it if you have it, and choose the first option. Now go to Resolution section. and select the highest refresh rate from here. That's all, just hit apply. Let me know on what topic you want the next video, the comment section is always open.